All right, I want to show you how to create a database and then create a table using XAMPP and using the PHP MyAdmin interface. So when you log into the interface, it looks like this. And we can create a database from here. We can just type a database name here and hit Create. Uh, if you're not on this screen, you can hit the Databases tab. And you can create a database from here as well. If you're on this screen, you would type the database name here and hit Create. I'm going to go back, I'm going to hit home and go back to that main screen. They both do the same thing. So I'm going to create a database called uh, Bookstore. Hit create. So right away, once you've created the database, you can create a table right from this screen here. So notice over here we have the bookstore database now. We could click that and get to this another way, but if you're ready to create a table, just type the table name here. I'm going to call it books. And provide the number of fields. If you're not sure, just put a number in there, you can always add more fields later. So my table is going to have five fields, so I've given it a name, provided the fields, and hit this Go button. So now we've given the table a name, but we need to put in the fields, the data types, and the field sizes. So I'm going to put in my field names here. First field name. This is the second field. So we're just creating some fields in this table. Now we need to provide some data types because they're not all going to be integer data types. So ISBN might be an integer. I'm going to make it a bar char. Title definitely needs to be bar char. So you just select the different data types for each field in this column. Now at this point we could create the table, but one thing to know about this PHP MyAdmin interface, if we choose a varchar data type, we have to provide a field size here. So if we try to create it now, it's going to give us an error. So I need to decide how long this field for ISBN needs to be. I'm not sure. So for each varchar, I'm just providing a field type, um, field length here. You don't need to do that for the integer, although you can if you want. One more thing you might want to do when you're creating a table is specify a primary key field. So I'm going to just show you how to do that with this interface. Um, I need to, this is a browser, so I just need to scroll over to where it says index here. So if I want to make ISBN field the primary key, I'm just going to choose primary there. And once you've given your fields names, specified data types and lengths, you just hit save down here and that will create the table with those fields.
And notice once the table is created, here's the database. Here's the one table I just created. But it takes you to the screen where you can see the fields and the various data types.